crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. to destroy them to get through.
I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking.
car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before.
I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah! No! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah! jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's something bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. The front door was locked. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, 
I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry.
distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. <laughs> 